Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another evening edition. Tonight we are continuing our Constellation series with Virgo. And uh, I'm very excited about this one because we've got some beautiful colors and it's kind of a cool story. So we're going to start with a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have to take the back, put my push pins in. It's level and ready to go. Let me show you my colors real quick. So the first color we are using tonight is Golden's Iridescent Pearl. My paint is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol. And some of these have some GAC 800 in them because they are left over from our last pour, which was Night Blooming, the collaboration we did with Lee and Jeremy Massey. So that one was really cool. I hope you guys saw it. I'll link it for you up here just in case. So we have the Iridescent Pearl from Golden's. We also have Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Beautiful stuff. Leaving a mound on a mound. Not super thick, though. Nothing is super thick. Um, this one is Golden's Green Gold. Beautiful color. And this does really amazing things when it's next to gold, but especially when it's next to turquoise, which is our next color. This one is Liquitex Professional Series Deep Turquoise. It comes in this little, like, I think it's a four ounce tube. Very cool stuff, but it's such a beautiful color, and especially next to this one, it's just heavenly. Just dreamy. So that's our Liquitex Turquoise, Deep Turquoise. This one, I'm pretty sure it's Prussian Blue, but it might have some Payne's Gray in it because sometimes it gets kind of dark in the studio. So <laughs> this is one of my leftover colors from that other pour. So, but I'm pretty sure it's Prussian Blue. So that's cool. So, and I also have some extra iridescent pearl as a flow extender that I've thinned out with water. So this is our palette for tonight. And um, let's go ahead and layer our cup and then I will tell you the story of Virgo while I put down my base coat. So we're gonna start with some of this deep turquoise actually. And I'm going to layer this carefully down the side. And I'm going to put a little bit of the pearl in there. And a little bit of gold. Actually, I'm going to put some green gold in first. And now the gold. Come back to our turquoise again. And a little bit of the green gold. It's a very small amount. Some white, some more pearl. And gold. And some of our Prussian blue. Green gold now. Some turquoise. We're probably going to need another half a cup, maybe, for this size canvas. Um, All right. So <laughs> The story of the constellation for Virgo involves Astraea, who is the goddess of innocence and purity and hope. And she lived on Earth during the golden age of man, when there was a utopia, people were kind and loving and weren't trying to all kill each other. <laughs> and Zeus, good old Zeus, Zeus is at it again, Zeus sent Pandora down to Earth with a box and instructions to not open the box. <laughs> and of course, Pandora's curiosity got the best of her, and she did open the box, and she unleashed the plagues of 
hatred and envy and greed and all sorts of other horrible things on Earth. And Earth became a really unbearable place to be. And one by one, the gods left Earth and went back up to the heavens. And Astraea was actually the last goddess to leave Earth. And she never gave up her hope, but she saw the innocence of Earth and the purity of it kind of diminishing, and she was very sad that mankind seemed intent on destroying itself. So she went back up into the skies, and she is there as the constellation Virgo, which is the maiden. And supposedly when Earth returns to the Golden Age again, Astraea will return with it. Maybe she'll bring in the Golden Age. I don't know, but she's supposed to come back. <laughs> so Astraea is actually the sign of Virgo, and Virgos are typically very analytical, they're very practical, they work very hard, they're very kind people though, and very thoughtful. So Virgo's a pretty cool sign. I don't know, this one's kind of special to me, but as I was thinking about it, and thinking about colors, I was thinking about hope and innocence, and that would be, the innocence would definitely be the pearl, and hope, very shining, I think that's the gold. So there's a lot of gold and white for the purity and innocence, and then I think the turquoise is sort of like, I don't know, lust, <laughs> maybe, greed. There's green envy, for sure. And the darker blue, I don't know, some darker thoughts, maybe. <laughs> but thinking about how these colors all play together and sort of maybe what happened to Estrella and how her thought process in the beginning was full of hope and full of innocence. And as she saw all these things happening, how it affected her and Let's see what happens with those colors as they blend with the white and the gold. So this should be cool. Um, I think I actually want to do a straight pour with this one. So I want to see how it'll blend. That's a 24 by 30. All the Constellation series are 24 by 30s. And I still have most of them, so. Okay, so we're going to do a straight pour. And I'm going to pour a small puddle of gold in here. Actually, should we do this? Should we do it in one spot or should we kind of move around? Let's do this one like up here. Sort of. Okay. I think we're, oh, I poured it from the side. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to doing it that way now. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I got a lot of slam. We're going to do a straight pour from up high. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to turn the canvas. Okay, we're going to let that do its thing. And we're going to fill this up again. One more, and we're going to do another pour over there. So, let's look at this for a second because there's some things I really love. I love that turquoise with the green gold. It's always amazing. This is really cool, that darker color. Maybe it does have panes in it because the Prussian doesn't really get that gray. Cool. Okay. So we're going to use the same cup again. We're going to start with that turquoise. And go right into the purity and innocence. <laughs> and a little bit of hope. Let's call this one lust. A little bit of lust. <laughs> Some envy. Back to purity again. <laughs> I don't know what's this one, which this one should be. Dark. Darkness. Just darkness. <laughs> you could do depth. Depth and darkness. Okay. Back to the gold again, our hope. And a nice dose of innocence and purity. <laughs> Some more lust. Envy. This could be sloth. 
<laughs> what are the other sins? Say, hate. Yeah, oh, hatred. Okay, it could be hate. But I like the blue. I don't want to hate. Okay, that's right. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more turquoise in there. And one more layer of the green gold. Which is such an amazing, honestly, it's such a pretty... I don't really like it in the cup looking like this, but when it does that, and it mixes with turquoise and with gold, it's just amazing. Okay. So let's pour this one over here. You will wander a little bit. So this is thinned already. I want to take what's left of the gold and just kind of go around the bottom edge over here. Okay. All right. So, this is pretty cool. I love that turquoise with the green gold. I love this. That's so pretty. This is really cool. This is really cool. A lot of really cool stuff in here. Okay. What do I like the most? I think I like that the most. So, we're going to sort of... I don't know, maybe we'll hook this edge over first.
paint on here still, a lot of it needs to come off. So I'm gonna take that edge down. How fast that's moving. So much paint. I love that corner, it's gorgeous. So this is pretty cool. I like this. I love this, how it's like fanned out like that. And then there's one this side. This is gorgeous right here with that the turquoise and the green gold and that Payne's gray and the gold made that darker color. It's really cool. And this is really pretty it's spread out with that sort of, that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. The white, the pearl underneath with the gold and then these other colors, the blue and the green. Just sort of very stretched, very thin over the top of it, so you still see the pearl underneath. Very cool. This is, that turquoise is unbelievable. It's amazing. There's clarity here and translucency, and then there's those green gold cells popping up. And some gold cells. Very cool. I like this. I like it a lot. So this is Virgo, our goddess Astraea, the goddess of innocence and purity and hope and her returning to the heavens to become the constellation Virgo. But hopefully one day she will return in the golden age and bring back that utopia and peacefulness to mankind. So this is really cool. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I will see you guys when it's dry. Okay, so this is a few days later now and it's pretty much dry. The center is still a little bit wet. But this is Virgo, Astraea's Hope. <laughs> this one turned out really, really beautiful. I have such a beautiful surprise with these colors and what happened in here with the pearl blending with the gold and the turquoise and that green gold. And I'm pretty sure that was Payne's Gray, not Prussian Blue. <laughs> turned out really cool though. A lot of details, some beautiful cells. I love this stretching where you see the pearl blended with the green gold. Look at these beautiful tiny cells. It was so cute. I love this part down here. It's just amazing. That translucency. These cells are really cool. I love that. Where there's like a little bit of the Payne's gray inside the center of the cells. There's one really blue section there where the turquoise and the pearl mixed. This part up here is so pretty. Just, I don't know if you guys can see that gold blinging and where the panes mixed with the, must be the green gold and the turquoise. Just gorgeous, sparkly and shimmery. And that pure turquoise color is just really amazing. That, that Liquitex, it's just such beautiful stuff. Really pretty.
So this is Virgo, the maiden, the constellation, the story of Estrella, the last goddess to leave Earth. But she left hope here. <laughs> really cool stuff. And we will be doing Libra soon because they are very connected. Estrella's mother has a lot to do with the Libra myth. So we will get into that next time. Thank you guys so much for being here with us and hanging out and you know all your lovely comments and I just we appreciate you so much and your time. Thank you all. So that's cool. We'll see you guys for the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.